What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to give you an overview of the Zoho Notebook platform and its different features. Zoho Notebook is a notebook or a note taking platform similar to like Google Keep and OneNote that you can take notes and organize them in notebooks to better uh, organize your uh, like tasks, your notes, your everything. So let's get to it. First you'll need to go to this website so notebook.zoho.com and I already am signed in with my Zoho account. You need to sign in or create a Zoho account here. You will land on this page. It tells you to uh, scroll down here to start a tour if you want to. So uh, you can scroll down or click on the mouse icon here to start your tour here. So it tells you that you can store your notebooks in notes to better organize them. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, you can uh, scroll down or uh, click the next here to uh, view the next like uh, uh, item. So note cards, you can uh, get cards here for text, checklists, uh, audio cards, photo cards, sketch cards. So you can uh, sketch or uh, uh, like pay, um, draw on the notes and you can get a file card so you can attach a file. Okay, and so on. So you will get like uh, a tutorial or uh, like a demo of the platform and you can get the app here on the App Store and Play Store. You have apps for uh, PC and Mac and you have like um, that you can download the Web Clipper um, extension for Chrome or Firefox. So here I can close the tour and I will land on my main page. So here I have my notebooks, my different notebooks. I have one notebook here that's created by default. I can view the note board here in a board uh, view, my note board. Uh, I can view all notes here. So in the note board view, I can view boards. So for my lists and reminders, the recent and files and so on. For now, let's focus on the notebooks themselves for this video. So here I have my main notebook and a notebook is like a placeholder for the notes. So if I click on it to open it, here, uh, the notebook is empty, so no notebooks. It gives me like a, uh, a quote here. So I can uh, create, click here to write something to create a new notebook. So this is a test note. And I can choose the font here, the style, like bold, italic, underlined. I can uh, choose the background color. I can choose a font color, font size and uh, like alignment, I can uh, decrease indent or increase it, I can like add an unordered list, so make it a list or a numbered list here, I can add a checkbox, so you can uh, check them, so like a checklist, you can add a link, insert a link to a file or a page here, you can add a photo, insert image, and the image here has lots of good tools, so I'll show you, so let's enter uh, this image, for example, Okay, make it small, medium, let's make it medium. Okay, done. The image is now added. And if I click on it, it'll open in an image editor, where I can like highlight it, like uh, click here to like, I can highlight here, uh, I can add tools. So like, uh, add like, sorry, shapes here. So like a red box, I can add uh, change the color I can highlight it with different colors so let's highlight it with uh, yellow I can add different shapes different uh, elements here like an arrow change the color to blue okay can add text so image I can edit the text color here the text uh, here is the text color and I can also add these like tagging uh, icons so uh, let's add one here let's add one here let's add okay to mark up like uh, to count or count down like elements in the photo I can blur certain parts of the photo here okay and I can crop it if I want to okay, let's cancel it okay that's done Okay, now the photo is uh, edited. Let's uh, close the editor. And now the photo is added to the note with the edits that I created. 
Here I can like uh, set a divider to divide the note. Okay, set another one to divide it here. I can insert a table and like one by one, uh, like two by two, let's make it two by two here. And I can write down different like uh, items here. I can add a checklist also in the table. I can add a quote here, insert quote. I can insert a code or I can clear formatting. So, and I can also name here the note itself. So like uh, test note, okay. And uh, here I have all other options. So I can run a spell check here. I can add like a reminder, set a date and a time. And I can edit the color of the note to further like organize them. So let's make it like uh, purple. And I can also choose from a color picker instead of like uh, some set colors here. Let's make it green. Okay. Can add contributors or uh, other members to edit and view these notes. And I can also share a note link with them to uh, click on it to open the note. I can here share the note or publicly share it. And I can view the info, I can add tags to the note to further search notes by tags here. So I can add tag, add tag, so like um, personal. Okay. Enter uh, work. And so on. I can also choose from a bunch of existing tags if you already if I already have on have some. Okay, let's close it options. I can merge notes, I can add to favorites, I can uh, view the notes activity. So the notes merge, I can uh, merge the note with uh, with another note here to add them in uh, one note. So uh, for now, I don't have any other notes. So I'll cancel it. Okay, let's uh, click here to save it. Now the note is added to uh, my notebook. Um, I can add a notebook here my notebooks here, it asks me to uh, request my location. Okay, enable the location, it creates a new untitled note. If I click here, on the three dots here, I can like open it, I can view the info, I can set it as default, I can change the cover. So you can change the cover for any uh, notebook here. Let's change it. You have some uh, like ready made images from Zoho, you can have some premium ones as well. And you can upload your own. So I click here to upload. You can upload a picture here to make it as a cover. For now, let's uh, choose this one, this colored one, like it. Okay, and it's applied. Now, let's open it. As you can see, it's empty. We can uh, like add notes. Uh, we can add capture images. We can uh, capture uh, like add images, drop them or upload them here. And we can also add a to do list. So a note. It creates automatically creates a note with a checklist or a to do list and we can edit all the note settings as we viewed. So all the note settings uh, that are available here, uh, that are that are available for all the notes are here as well. So uh, you can create a note and you can also click on the name of the notebook to edit it. So like personal notebook. Okay. Now let's close it for now you have two notebooks here. I can uh, like, okay, let's close it. Let's set this one as default. So um, let's uh, click on the three dots here. Okay, it's, it's not like working properly. Okay, set as default. you can also uh, lock the notebook, you can share it or you can delete it or move it to trash. So let's set it as a default notebook for now. And here you have many options. So you can attach files, you can also draw so you can create a new notebook uh, for drawing if you have like a, a tablet, or um, a uh, graphics uh, tablet for drawing, you can draw or a touch screen with a pencil. So here are all the types of notes that you can add. Okay, and it will it is saved now in my new notebook and you can add the title and so on. So that was like a quick overview of the Zoho Notebook platform and its features.